All I'm going to say is go watch the tactical villain show again and re-watch this game again. And you know what you guys are going to say? Manny, you should be working with Villa's analysis team. That's all I'm saying. Just go watch the tactical villain show again and watch this game again. But anyway, guys, let's get into this match reaction, man. Yes, people, this is the match reaction for the game that just happened. <sighs> Liverpool 3, Aston Villa nil, man. And I have to say, man, I'm deflated, you know. I'm actually deflated because I actually felt like, yo, Villa going to do something against the big dog teams. Yeah, I actually thought we're going to put up a fight against the big six team. But no, man, I have to say, bro, Una Emery, I'm sorry, but the tactics were wrong today. Players didn't show up, man, at all. But anyway, guys, let's get into the lineup, man. Of course, it comes out. And yeah, Emi Martinez back in gold, and I have to say, quite glad that he's back in. Um, and yeah, it was the same team that basically uh, played against uh, Burnley. And even in the tactical villain show, I said I wanted to see this team. Um, I wanted to see the team. But the tactics, that's a different story, man. Like I said, people, man, I felt like the tactics today got it wrong, man. I have to say, man, I felt like Una Emery showed too much um, respect to Liverpool. Yes, Anfield and stuff like that, but... You still want to show your tactics. You still want to implement how you want to play. Yeah, fair enough. It's, uh, it's Liverpool and stuff like that. They got quality players. I even touched on it in my tactical villains. They got a lot of uh, danger players. Sabozlai, Trent. And we saw these players today. Yeah, they played how I said they were going to play out, man. I'll touch on it in a bit. But like I said, man, I felt like we showed them way too much um, respect on the ball. Like, we didn't show any like pressing or anything like that. It's just like we just sat back. And Liverpool played their own game. Didn't show any energy like or any high press up the pitch. I know Unai Emery likes to play a high line and stuff like that. But you got to show some intent when you're playing against those teams. Especially when you're playing a high line. Because you're trying to stop them from playing those balls in behind. And that's what exactly happened today, people. And also as well, Diego Carlos picking up an injury coming off early in the game. Um, hope it's not that too serious. Of course, him uh, picking up the ACL as well. Um, hopefully it's not too too bad for him And then of course Leon Bailey comes on And then Unai Emery kind of changes the formation uh, Matty Cash goes right back And then Kansa comes into the centre back position And then from then when Leon Bailey came on I thought he showed some intent Him and Diaby were kind of linking up and stuff like that I thought towards the end of the, the first half We were kind of showing some more I'd say intent But the thing is we weren't really clinical Like we had a lot of chances no, Not a lot but we had a few One where uh, the ball came to McGinn, McGinn took a shot and he went over the bar and then I think Luca Dean crossed it as well and Matty Cash took a header and he was straight to Alisson like we had chances in this game but we just didn't be um, that clinical in front of goal like we had our chances at the same time Liverpool had their chances as well and they couldn't even score uh, more to be fair um, but yeah overall I felt like we didn't show our uh, I'll say play style I felt like Una Emery kind of reserved a bit uh, too much and we sat back too much i felt like if we kind of pressed them higher up the pitch we possibly could have caused them uh problems because when diaby was getting on the ball he was causing them problems when he was running at them like watkins i felt like he didn't really play too well but when he was holding the ball up and bringing in players like bailey and diaby i felt like we were kind of causing um uh problems especially towards the end of the first half we'll touch on the goals people the first one i think cross comes in uh, and then ball comes to uh, Sabozlai, and then I even I even said this as well in the in the in the tactical villain show. Sabozlai likes to take the long shots. He likes to take the long ranges, takes a shot and scores, man. And it's one nil early on in the game. I think it's like three four minutes in, and then from then I knew it's gonna be a long game, man. And I think it's like twenty minutes in, and it's two nil to Liverpool. And from then I knew like it's gonna be a long game for us because, like I said, I felt like we just. Uh, Sat back too much and just showed uh, Liverpool respect. And then, yeah, people, I think it's like the 54th minute or something like that. Cross comes in. Darwin Nunes, I think he flicks it on. Then who comes back post, yeah? Like I said, people, I literally called this before in my last video. Yeah, I really should have been in the analysis team for Villa, you know. I could have showed them how Liverpool are going to operate, how they're going to play and stuff like that. Back post, who comes? Mohamed Salah, easiest goal this guy's going to score in his whole career, bro. Literally taps it in, man. Like... Everything I called, it happened in this game, bro. Literally happened, man. Like, it's absolutely crazy, people, man. Like I, like I said, I felt like I felt like we never really imposed ourselves, man. And I felt like 
Liverpool weren't even playing at their best. Like, they were just cruising, bro. They were literally cruising. Like, we could have definitely showed more intent, 100% going forward. Like, when DRB got the ball, when Bailey got the ball, they were doing something. And then Neon Bailey coming up for Zaniolo. I have to say, Zaniolo, when he came on, he done his thing. But I want to know if um, Leon Bailey picked up a little niggle and stuff like that. Because I have to say, him and Musa Diaby were kind of linking up well, man. They were linking up well. Like, um, they were running at players, especially Musa Diaby. I have to say, he was a standout performer. Let me know in the comments below who was your standout performer. Because for me, I thought Musa Diaby was the only guy that kind of showed intent. Douglas Louise as well, of course, he came off as well. But when he was on the pitch, I felt like he was trying to play those passes to the forwards and stuff like that. And he was playing those quite good uh, diags as well. I know one pass he played with his left foot as well, and he cut Liverpool's um, uh, midfield open. And we had a few other chances as well, like we played some good football in one spell but we did like a little tiki taka carve Liverpool open, I think it was Luca Dean Yeah, it was Luca Dean crossed the ball in And then um, Leon Bailey, literally, ball comes into him and I think last minute he changes his mind and um, shoots with his right I think he wanted to shoot with his left, but the last minute he changes his mind man, I felt like he possibly probably could have scored there if he stuck with his uh, left foot and shot with his left foot, man. But it's just those little marginal gains, especially people. When you go to Anfield, you have to be clinical, man. You have to be clinical in front of goal because if you're not, bro, they're going to come and score and they're going to score twice or three times, man. And that's what happened today, man. 3-0 to them. Um, and like I said, bro, I feel kind of deflated, man. I kind of feel deflated because, like I, like I said, I felt like we possibly could have got a, a result. I know it's Liverpool and stuff like that. I ain't really going to you know, get too reactionary. But at the same time, I felt like the players could have done more, man. I felt like Una Emery probably could have shown more intent going forward. He probably didn't want to concede too many goals defensive-wise. That's why we kind of sat back. But when we were sitting back, Liverpool were literally just pocketing us and just popping the ball around. I felt like Una Emery's kind of tactic was to sit back and then when we get the ball, hit him on the counter. I felt like in the first kind of half, we were getting the ball and trying to play out from the back and then like Una Emery plays, uh, draw the opposition players into our half and then play around them but I have to say Liverpool's press and fair play to Jurgen Klopp because I even call this as well yeah let me get this in I even call this as well Liverpool's press bro when they play high press that counter press is deadly man when when the when that centre backs had the ball literally they were onto us straight man and I felt like the players kind of got puzzled and um, didn't really know their positions and where to be and stuff like that to play at the press yeah we had a few chances where we were playing out the, the high press and stuff. We played some good football in parts though. In parts, that's a key word, man. It weren't really consistent. Um, but yeah, overall, people, I um, have to say, man, not a, a good game from us. And then, yeah, like I said as well before, um, Douglas Lewis came off, Telemans came on. Uh, didn't really have much to do. Um, Watkins came off, I have to say, not the best of game from Watkins, man. Watkins' first touch, he needs to improve on that, man. His first touch, I don't know if it's only me, but... When he gets the ball, it's like he has to take two touches to control the ball. He can't just take a touch and then just shoot, man. Let me know in the comments below if, if, it's, if, I, um, if I'm the only one that thinks that. If you guys think that, let me know because I feel like that's one area he can improve on. Like, literally, take a touch, move the ball away from you, and just shoot, man. Um, but, yeah, he came off and then John Duran came on. John Duran, when he came on, I thought he just took some shots wild, man. Like, he was on the left-hand side and then I think he did it twice. Took a shot. And um, I think it was kind of wasteful, uh, wasteful. Like I said, this whole game, players weren't really clean, uh, clinical, man. Uh, and yeah, I have to say, like, he shouldn't really be taking shots from those angles. We weren't really going to beat Alisson. Probably could have crossed it into the box um, and hoping uh, a player could have been in there, like uh, Musa Diaby. But yeah, guys, overall, man, not the best of games. I know we got uh, international break now. And then after that, we got um, Crystal Palace at home. Um, but yeah guys man, 4 wins in a row and then a defeat now, it is what it is, hopefully the players can bounce back and Una Emery can work his magic in the next uh, game against uh, Crystal Palace, uh, but yeah people that's a match reaction, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys like, comment, subscribe and like I said before, the road to 1k yeah, 1000 subscribers, so if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe people, let me know your thoughts on the game, like, comment, subscribe and up the villa.